Well, hello, you donkeys, and welcome back to Pro Cycling Manager 2020 for stage number four of our 2020 Tour de France playthrough with Groupama FDG. And today's stage is a big one. Sisteron or Sermarlet, the second mountain stage of this tour, but the first summit finish. And I'm chuffed. Thibaut Pino is second of the GC. We have a chance to be in the yellow jersey by the end of the stage. And I'm going to do everything in my power to make it happen. 100% fitness for the Frenchman, the 30-year-old climber who's seen his career being struck by bad luck day in, day out. Thibaut, it's your day. You'll be in the yellow by the end of the stage. It's a plus one. Plus one for Thibaut today, plus one for David Godu as well, minus one for uh, Madouas and minus two for Reichenbach. We'll try to do with that, but... Come on, David Godu and Thibaut Pino have the opportunity to make something great happen today. Uh, where's Mathieu? Mathieu will be in the breakaway. Obviously, uh, I mean, he's, he's got 35 points for the green jersey. I don't want to miss out on them. So, come on, Mathieu. Breakaway is for you. And there might be one and a half kilometers left. Mathieu Ladanius won't be able to get the points because the breakaway is chasing us down. And... Uh, no, the peloton was chasing us down. I don't know why. It's just... Just peloton things. But, yeah. It's sad. Maybe because there's wind as well. I don't know. Could you have echelons? Could potentially think about getting some. Wait. Don't tell me the peloton stopped now. Oh, I hate them. I hate this peloton. Where's... The, how's the wind? What are we saying wind-wise? It's going to be... Front wind uh, when we take that corner, I think. Let me take a look. Uh, yeah, front wind, side wind, so no echelons available. Alright, and I feel like the first breakaway that I haven't taken is the one that's gonna win. 914 is the lead for uh, a, a 14 men group who is ahead of a 14 men group who's ahead of one rider. Um, but yeah, it's a shame. For once, I don't take the breakaway. And what I'm scared about is that some riders here could genuinely compete for the yellow jersey. Uh, well, not for not on the long run, right? Uh, don't worry. But today they could potentially fight for the yellow. And I wanted to uh, have that yellow jersey at the, the, at the end of the day. So that's why I'm pacing with Stefan Kung, uh, Bonnet, and Ladanius to try and come back on these guys. Also, uh, there's been a crash. Sam Bennett and uh, Maxime Chevalier woke up in an incident. None of them to uh, have any teammates available. But they should be able to uh, finish within the delays. 20 kilometers left. Thibaut Pinot is uh, well entered in the first group. Full energy for him. Same for, uh, for David. The two of them are being protected. Uh, six minutes is the, the time for the break. Breakaway uh, with Esteban Chavez, Geschke, Hessink, Paules, Jan Polank, Nance Peters, Tom Schoens, Pierre Roland, Marc Hirschi, uh, and actually a lot of riders trying to come back. Guillaume Martin attacked, I'm guessing he's the guy in E4, which is now E3. He is indeed. Don't ask me why. But he's just attacked. Also, the rhythm has accelerated, uh, and I haven't, so let's try not to get dropped, shall we? 10 kilometers, and we're starting the climb towards our Samelette, at least the breakaway is. Uh, we should be doing so in a few kilometers. I'm trying to uh, have Thibaut somewhat um, high in the peloton. But not too high so that you can maintain some energy and not lose it all. 5.08 is the gap for the breakaway. Where's Rudy Mollard? Rudy, you can go in the wheel of Thibaut. Don't know if that's going to make anything. Attack. Ah, well, there we go. First attack. Nero Quintana at the very start of the climb is the first one to make a move. Buchmann tries to follow. Here's Bauke Mollema. Primus Roglic. All the big, the big names are all going. The big names are all going. Valentin Madouas is going to struggle to catch the three attackers. There we go. He's done. Meaning that Thibaut is now on a mission. He's a man on a mission. Thibaut Pinot. David Godu in the wheel. There's a yellow jersey to go. There's a yellow jersey to go and grab here. Where's Valverde? Valverde is there. In a solid position. Uh, Wout van Aert. Struggling. Struggling, Wout van Aert. It is understandable, to be fair. 4.54 uh, 
Pierre Roland en est zone. Can the attack de Pierre Roland get him another win on the Tour de France? I think the last time he won was in La, la Toussuire, I believe in 2012. Lilian Kalmajan is showing signs of struggle. So is Nance Peters, but Nance Peters is battling because he's fighting for the yellow jersey. Yellow jersey still on the shoulders of Valverde. We haven't managed to come back on Moloma, Quintana and Roglic, but we're not far off. Thibaut Pinot making sure that he can come back. The win today, Pierre Roland wins in Orsair Marlet ahead of Lilian Calmeja. Nance Peters in third place. But the main battle is there. Roglic, Quintana, Molema coming back on uh, some older breakaway guys. We're going to have some energy. We should be able to use said energy. Nance Peters has uh, probably managed to keep his jersey. I don't know, Thibaut though. I'm not talking about the new head coach of the Knicks. That's Thibaut though. <laughs> I was so dead. The Thibaut finishes in 21st place. I don't know if there's a gap with Valverde. I don't believe that there is one. Uh, however, I'm not seeing anyone from Ineos Grenadier. Where is Ineos Grenadier? Are you from Ineos? Hold up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Helicopter, mate, boss man. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, Bernal was wearing the white jersey. I was trying to look uh, to, to find that white jersey of, uh, of Egan. Couldn't find it, but he was... Uh, well, no, that, the, the normal jersey of Egan, but I couldn't find it because he was wearing the white. Uh, that's fair enough. The gap are one hour, meaning uh, Bennett and Chevalier should be safe. Yeah. It's a big job for Pierre Roland, the leader of uh, Vital Concept BNB, for their first participation on the Tour de France. They get one of the best wins you could have uh, you could have gotten on this race. 126 ahead of Lilian Kalmajan, 138 on Nance Peters. You really, really did well. The the, the good old Pierre Roland from a um, white jersey on the Tour de France. Valverde is still yellow jersey, but in the same second as Thibaut Pinot. Thibaut Pinot did gain four seconds on uh, the Spaniard. On aggregate positions, though, the Spaniard maintains his yellow jersey. Pino in second, Bernal, Uran, Molema, Prum, Roglic, Alaphilippe, Quintana, Nance Peters making an appearance in P9, and Mikel Landa in P10. I believe Pierre Roland is making a comeback in the mountain classification. He could be fighting for it later on in this tour, but it is still David Gaudu, nonetheless, wearing the Paul Cador jersey after Orsier Merlet. Congratulations to uh, our favorite Frenchman. We do have a lot of favorite players and a lot of favorite riders on this tour, let's be honest. Um, Green-wise, it is still Caleb Ewan, who's got two added points today, I think? I don't know. I don't... No, it's impossible. Physically impossible that he got added points. Best young rider, though, is still again Van Alta de Pugazar, now 155 behind. And Valentin Madouas, 450. He's lost a lot today, but to be fair, I didn't expect him to do anything. Best team, uh, Trek Segafredo, who is now ahead of Adesor Mondial Mondiale, and Jumbo. Baron McLaren, who were first, are now out of the top 10. Stonks. What a win by Pierre Roland. The attack de Pierre Roland really worked out for him. Uh, big gaps. Big, big gaps. Big, 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 big gaps. Thibaut, 3.57 and Valverde, 4.01. Yeah, that four-second gap. Went far off. Went far off from that yellow jersey. Went the same time as the Spaniard. We could potentially get it tomorrow should we finish in a better position than him between Gap and Priva. We shall see what happens. Uh, but overall, it's not a bad stage for me. Not a bad stage. We did, we did well. I probably could have followed the attack of Quintana, but had I done that, I wouldn't have been able to use David Goodwin as much as I would have, and I probably wouldn't have been. Uh, I probably would have finished with Valverde. So I think I did the right choice. I think I I, I took the right call. Um, but yeah, Pierre Roland wins. Calme Jean Nance Peters. Um, GC wise, Pierre Roland is not even in the top twenty. Wait, hold up. He was five minutes down, and the gap was four minutes. Pierre Roland should be around. It's 248 down. Okay, wow, brain. Uh, but yeah, we're in the same second as Valverde. Then Bernal, Uran, Molema are within 10 seconds. Then Roglic, 22. Alap, Phillips, 36. Quintana, Peters. Uh, was there any gaps between us leaders? Roglic lost a lot. Well, lo uh, he lost 12 seconds. Same for... Oh, Alap, Philippe lost 20. Quintana lost 30 seconds. Landa lost 40. Pogacar lost a minute. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, can, I can see why the, 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 the time was dropped. Okay, well then, that nonetheless is going to be the end of stage 4. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, then please do leave a like down below. If you're new around here, then please do consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Uh, follow me on my social medias. The links are in the description down below. But I shall see you for tomorrow's stage between Gap and Priva. My name has been Blackhole. It has been an absolute pleasure talking to you guys. 
Have a great day and goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold I'm leading. All them other man need feeding. I don't want to go bombi. Them I don't know what I do when I go from feeling. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bag. Snapping with the phone and dab. Boss up a man with the duster. Put him in the drip and sip blockbuster.